Hi, welcome to Mini Shops How to Sculpt Videos with myself, Elizabeth, and today we'll be sculpting a little golden oyster mushroom. My favorite part of these videos is seeing what you guys sculpt, so feel free to send me photos and I'll feature them at the end of future videos. Let's get sculpting. To begin, you'll need some white clay, yellow clay, and a silicone dowel tool with a bald end. Also helpful might be a knife. Take your yellow clay, warm it up, and then we're going to make six or seven little balls. They don't have to be exact same size, so just split off a little bit of clay, about this much, depending on the size of the mushroom you're making. Roll it into a ball, set it down, split off some more, roll it into a ball, set it down, and again, roll it into a ball, set it down, roll it into a ball, set it down a few more times. And then once you have those, we're gonna take them between our fingers and flatten them. Not too flat, but just a little bit, like a puffy pancake. Flattening each one into kind of an oval shape rather than a complete circle. And they don't have to be perfect because they're a natural mushroom. Flattening them little by little and then once you've flattened your last one, take your white clay, and it's okay if you get some yellow on your white clay because it makes it look a little more natural, but warm it up between your fingers, and then you're going to take as many pieces of clay off as you made the tops of your yellow, roll them into a ball, and then you're just going to flatten them into an oval, set them on top of your yellow portion, and tab it together. And do this for all of your toadstool tops. Roll side to side, flatten, press, roll, flatten, and press, roll, flatten, and press. And if you're making a lot of these, you can just start with this step and make oodles of them. Almost there. And it may be that you find you might need some more later on, but you'll know the steps to do that if you do. Roll, flatten, and press. Okay. Once we have a good amount of those, we are going to take our white clay again, make sure it's still warmed up, roll it into a ball between our fingers, and then start to roll it out into a very large snake, pulling and rolling as you do so. And we want it to be about a quarter of the thickness as our mushroom going this way. So about this big. So once you have that, you're just going to set it on the white part of your mushroom. Take your silicone dowel tool, smooth it onto your mushroom, the base, and then I like to just hold one side, then the other, and pull off like that, giving a little bit of extra room, a little, making it a little longer than I think I need it, and then moving on to the next one. Smoothing it in, going all the way around, and then a little pull. Sometimes you have to re-roll your snake but we're doing this step for all of the mushroom sides. There, like so, almost there. Pressing it all the way around, and then pulling it off. Last one, setting, smoothing, and then either pulling it off or leaving it. Next, you'll take your silicone dowel tool again, and you're going to make the little ridges on the interior portion of the mushroom just slightly indenting all the way around the under cap of the mushroom. And then you'll match those up on the stalk of the mushroom, pulling with a little bit of pressure down. Lining up, pulling down, lining up and pulling down all the way around. And if your clay is really soft, you might notice that it pulls off a little bit on your silicone dowel tool. You can just tap it off on your clay that's setting to the side. Repeat that process for all of your mushrooms, indenting all the way around on the bottom of the mushroom and on the trunk of the mushroom. Sorry for not using proper terminology. If, <laughs> if you're a mushroom enthusiast, could you let me know what the top and the stalk of the mushrooms are? Called. That'd be awesome. Thanks. All right. This takes a minute, but it's not super lengthy. It's just a pretty relaxing process. I find working with clay to be very therapeutic. And I've said this before, but I love seeing what you guys make. So if you feel free to send me a photo on my email or socials, and I can share it at the end of these videos. They're really fun because I love sharing what I do with you, but I don't love the video editing process. So seeing your photos makes the video editing worth it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take some white and we'll make a little base for them to attach to. 
Take about as much as you think a clump of two of the mushrooms would make and then warm it up, roll it into a ball and then set it on your work surface. Just tap it there. Make it about like this, like a little gumdrop and then attach your first stalk to it. You can pull down those lines a little further. Oh, before we do that, add little dots to the top of your mushroom if you would like. It just adds for a fun little aesthetic, like they're bumpy. Just tapping slightly with our bald end tool. You can also use like the tip of a pencil with a little piece of saran wrap over it so that it doesn't get lead on the top of your mushroom. Okay, now add another mushroom stalk. I like to make sure that they're different heights and going off in different directions. So you can use a lot of artistic discretion here, kind of pull it around. I like to have them swooping down sometimes. You can also take a look at golden oysters on the internet and look at one you like the look of and then try to kind of copy those angles and curves. Just make sure you're adding them evenly. I like to add like one on one side, one on the next side, that sort of thing, just so they don't all end up on one side. And if you find that you don't have enough of these little mushroom pieces, you can totally make more. And then just wherever you're, there is some clay lumps that don't look like part of the mushroom, just add some indents there with your silicone dowel tool. And when you're happy with it, go ahead and sign your name at the bottom. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.